Hello. It's quite a while since I've done a video for disabled gardeners. So I think it's about time to put that right, don't you? Uh, the growing season's nearly upon us. If you're disabled, you may be twitching to get out there. And there's certain obstacles that, that prevent you doing that to do with your particular disability. Now I think most of us, the only exposure we've had to disabled gardening is on television. And that's where a gang of 20 people turn up with a huge budget, reconstruct the garden, put some new paths in, build raised beds, uh, go to the um, garden centre, buy lots of plants, bring them back, plant them up and then the person with the disability has got access to the garden. Well that's great isn't it? It really is great. But is it going to happen for you? It doesn't happen for everybody does it? And if it isn't going to happen for you then perhaps I've got something here that will get you back into the garden. This is for you. Okay I've got a few props actually um, that I'm going to use. I hope you'll forgive me for that, um, but I think it, it, it shows what's possible. Okay, now I want to show you this guy first. This is a 10 inch pot. It's a Morrison's Cut Flower Water Bucket X. They sell them off. It's got some holes drilled in the bottom now, makes it a plant pot. I got these yesterday. Okay. 99p for 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then for good measure there's some smaller ones inside. Okay, so these guys are as cheap as chips. Uh, but what I like about them is they're small, they're compact and they're lightweight and they'll do a job. They'll do a good job for you, believe me. If you want to have a look back on my channel at any of my videos where I've grown vegetables in these 10 inch pots, I think you might be surprised at what actually is possible. Okay, so why a 10 inch pot? Why not something a bit bigger? Well this holds 10 litres, 10 litres of compost. Um, and I've got one actually here that's, that's got some compost in, it's filled with compost. Okay, this here that you, I think you might be able to see, I'm not too sure, I'm not too sure if it's coming out or but that's a pizza base. Oi, cut that out. That's a, a base from a pizza that I use to firm the compost down. Um, let's put it on one side. This guy is actually full of compost. Um, I'm going to use it in a minute. I'm going to show you something in a minute. But first off, let me show you this. And this isn't a show of strength. This is to show you how light these guys are. Okay. That's how light these guys are. So if you have a strength issue, then that's very important, isn't it? That they're not too heavy. Now there are gardeners growing in 40 litre pots. A 40 litre pot would be four times as heavy as this 10 litre pot. And probably take up four times as much space, I don't know. But space is important when you're considering disability because if you take too much space up, the disabled person can't function, you can't get past it, it's an obstruction and what we don't want is to introduce obstructions into the garden so there needs to be a safe passage. So I'll just pop this back on here for a minute. Hold on, I'll pop that there. Right so 10 inch pot, now then would you believe that if you put one seed potato in there that you would be disappointed if you only got 10 back. That, that it's possible to get more than 10 potatoes back out of this pot with just one seed potato set in it. Trust me, it is, I've done it. There's videos on the channel, just look at the channel. So, and how do we do this? <laughs> if your disability is your eyesight, you might think that's a seed potato. If it isn't, you can probably see it's a stone. Don't ask me why I'm using a stone, why I'm not using seed potatoes, it's a long story. Um, but anyway, this is how we do it. 
two inches of compost in the bottom. Now any multi-purpose compost will do. Two inches in the bottom. Sit your seed potato on that two inches of multi-purpose compost and fill it up. Stand it outdoors. When the green bits come out of the top, give it a drink of water from time to time. In the middle of summer, you'll be emptying that out and you'll be blown away by the result. Blown away by the result. Okay, now, I've also grown carrots in these 10 inch pots, I've grown leeks in these 10 inch pots, I've grown celery in these 10 inch pots, I've grown carrots in these 10 inch pots. Um, and they don't take up too much space and they're not too heavy. So this, this might be an idea um, that you want to try. Uh, but let me show you this. There aren't many things um, out there for disabled gardeners, I don't think anyway, you might think differently. But I've already filled this guy with compost. Okay. Compost still quite damp. Uh, normally you would spray that compost. Uh, but this compost is still quite damp. Okay. Have you seen these before? Seed mats. Okay. It's just a tissue impregnated with seeds. There's two in this pack, by the way. Tissue with seeds impregnated. So if you have dexterity or eyesight issues, trouble with small seeds, that's it. This is for you. And there are also other seed tapes that are available that you can purchase. Um, if you just Google it, uh, vegetable seed tapes, or if you want to grow flowers in pots, flower seed tapes, and this is what you get. And this is how simple it is. That's it. I've sown the seeds. The seeds are sown. All we do now is drizzle some compost on it. Well, those seeds are actually, what are they? Patio pot seed mats, mixed spicy leaves, mixed spicy salad leaves, mixed spicy salad leaves, we've just sown there. Pop that compost on there. Okay. And off camera, because I haven't got my water and can handy, I'll give that a water. Um, and there's no chance of those seeds being flushed into one corner, as sometimes happens when you use a water and can on a, on a pot that just had seeds put in it, um, because the seeds are trapped in the tissue. So they'll stay where they are, they'll grow, or we'll be eating salad. And providing you can lift this pot and put it somewhere where it isn't going to obstruct your access, you're growing salad leaves. We've had a look at the potato, you're growing potatoes. You can do carrots, you can do leeks, you can do anything. You can do it. Now what I want to do now is, um, I want to take you around the corner um, where I've got some pots standing against my house and I'm trying to simulate, please forgive me for this, I'm trying to simulate a wheelchair with a wheelbarrow just for uh, the width of the barrow and the width of the wheelchair are possibly similar and it's just to show that if your path's wide enough and you've got access um, you could probably do this. So we'll go and have a look at this the, where I've got my pots and I've got this wheelbarrow set up uh, and then we'll call it a day. Okay, so this is the wheelbarrow. These are the 10 inch pots next to the house. As you can see, there's room for the wheelbarrow. I'm hoping that means there's room for a wheelchair. Um, these things aren't as heavy to lift as bigger pots. Don't take as much filling um, and don't tick up the whole of your path. Uh, and if you've got a patio, all the better. Okay. So I hope this is. Uh, I hope this video has perhaps inspired you if you're disabled. If you know someone that's disabled, perhaps point them in the direction of this video. And hey, let's get some veg soon.
let's grow some veg homegrown veg signing out <laughs>